Once you've identified an issue that you need to address in the action required area here, we're going to go back here and we're going to actually select the issue for review in Timer Pro. We're going to take the proactive action now to correct some of the issues that we're seeing in the schedule. So what this is going to do is going to isolate the specific Yamazumi chart for the build sequence and model mix at the exact time of the selected issue. And then we're going to allow you to update the Yamazumi chart in real time using Timer Pro to eliminate or minimize the effect of the issues. And then we're going to generate a change report that you can use to show to the line staff, plus showing you the original and the proposed actions for review within Timer Pro as desired. So here we are back in the Excel issue report. We know there's an issue at this particular point. This actual build sequence is sequence number 10. This is where it happens here. And this is issue number five in our Excel issue report here. If I go back to the summary, you can see it's this one right here. I then go back to Timer Pro from where I generated the initial schedule report in Excel here. And we know we're looking for build sequence number 10. So I double click on this here and it will generate the exact Yamazumi chart inside Timer Pro that we just saw here representing issue number five here. That's the exact same chart here as we're seeing in the background in Timer Pro right here. And then all we want to do here is we want to save this to a new file so we can work on it here. So we select the issue we're looking for. You can see it right in the background. Then we save to a new file. Are you sure you want to save the currently displayed balance into a new file? I'll say yes. It actually gives us an opportunity to save this. This is a good idea to save it at this point if you haven't already done so. So I might go in here and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go to my library's documents, my applied computer services, my samples, and this is going to be my multi-model files here. And I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to say this is my model for demo video. Right, I save that right there. I click on the save. It saves that and then it's going to regenerate the process that we're looking to fix inside Timer Pro itself here. Now, notice that we are in the summary sheet now of Timer Pro. And one of the features we have here is line balancing. And under the balancing, there's an original here. Now, the problem is if you take any activity, let's say you want to move this activity out here in the far right, the yellow one, and you move it to fix it. So you might move it down here. Well, if you do that pretty quickly, you're going to lose track of what you've done here. It becomes very difficult to follow the changes you're suggesting. So I'm going to put that back to where it was right there. And what we do is we come up here to the top left. We click on the original drop down here and we set the original. And what that does, it changes the color of each, each of the bars. So if we take the same item over here above the tack time and drag it down now, it becomes very obvious the change you've made. This one has come from this stack here. Right, now we've got a problem here. If I take this one here, my other overtacked activity, I can move it around here, but no matter where I put it, that's not going to work for us. So what we need to do is we need to look for some alternatives here. So what we might decide, you might look at this and say, well, I can use this piece. I can ask this guy here to do it. I just drag it across and I drop it right in there. Now we're getting a little closer here and maybe I can take one of these guys and move it up here. So what I've done, I've come up with two moves that I have to do. I'm going to ask this operator here to go and assist this guy here at these particular steps in the process so that everything can be done under the tact here. Now we need to tell the supervisor and the operator what to do. So we come back over here to the original and we're going to generate a change report here. So you take that information and put it out into Excel. It only takes a second or two. Now again, because we're using the colors here, it's obvious where things are happening. So you can see we changed this one with the brown one here. It went into the uh, turquoise type color here. So you can look down here very quickly. You can see what's happened. And these two items with the orangey type color, they went into the blue color here. So again, you can see it down here. This is our suggestion of what to do. And we actually document it where it was. This is the original task and where it's going to go to over here. And it tells you everything out here, the value added time and everything is documented right here for you. Here we have our proposed change. And the, likely the supervisor or the operator can say, well, what happened? What was it like before? You can scroll down and here we have the original situation. So you can see originally uh, both the brown one here and the orangey one was over the tag time. And you go back up and you can see the suggestions that we're making to ensure that everything can be done in the time we have available so they can keep the whole line moving as scheduled here.
So what we did here, we identified that there was indeed an issue. We selected the item for review. We isolated the specific Yamazumi chart. So we saved that over into Timer Pro. We updated the Yamazumi chart by dragging and dropping the activities around. And we generated a change report. So you could review that. And it also includes, it said right there, plus store the original and proposed action for review within Timer Pro. So you come back over here and we can then say we want to save this. You do a file and you do a save balance as. And we put it out into the same area, models and options. Here I'm going to put my changes. So I might say this is my uh, demo video changes. And we just saved that. So we can bring that up later on. If we want to make other changes, we can make it directly in here as well. Okay. This is our current state after the changes. This was the original state right here. So you can toggle between them directly in Timer Pro at any point in time. Then we want to return to the original source document. So we click here and we've got an option down here, return to model file. And what this is going to do, this is going to take you back to where you were looking at the different processes. So it's going to run through a series of screens here. It's going to reload the schedule, figure out the calculations, and put you right back on the exact row that you were there before you decided to isolate it. This is our build sequence number 10 that we went ahead and isolated and updated. So you can see what it's done after this. You can actually go back up in here to the Yamazumi screens. This is this link going up here from the proactive action back into our review screen up at the top here.